Guess what? We just put the sneak tack on a little baby rat. But the uh, best part about it was it's on a float set that I found online on YouTube. Figured I'm gonna try my hand at making these things and see if they work. I've had them out for a couple days and I put in this little ditch and <laughs> got him. Check this out right here. You know it, baby. That's freaking killer. So, what I did, piece of two by 10, routed out, a hole for the trap. And I, like I said, I got this from another guy on YouTube. Um, and then I just ran my wire and my anchor right out the bottom of the trap. So my anchor floats upstream and I put, I, I placed the anchor upstream far enough to where I could lodge the float set in this little ditch bank kind of a, kind of a thing like that right there. And the rat obviously went for it, took it, and took it hard. He wrapped himself up in the in the brush pretty good. I'll have to dig it out, but just in a number one duke single long spring. Um somewhere. Got him! Got him. Stoked that it worked. That's awesome. I'm gonna reset this thing and keep working these rats in this little little ditch here. I mean it's only four feet wide, but it's been producing a lot for me lately. Um, it's awesome. The level of the ditch in those other videos, you can see that it's been going up and down quite a bit. And I think what it is, it's these fields are being drained of the the water, uh, the old tiled uh, drain fields been placed, you know, for a hundred years that the old time farmers put in here. So that's what's fluctuating the level of this little, little creek here. But, uh, dude, I'm freaking stoked. It's awesome. Okay, let's go see if we got any more. Looky what we have here. Another little beautiful dead fur bearing critter. Okay, so bigger than the last one, smaller than the others. But uh, anyway, what I did here is looking at the area. I could I could tell that they'd been working. There's some some old scat right there that's just kind of washed out. Um. So I just created a little slide like right there like you would a beaver. Made a little mini feed mound. And I actually, so that little slide right here had the trap buried in water. You can see how much it's dropped since last night. Um, these were all right about the water's level last night when I set this. And now I'm gonna reset it a little bit lower. I guarded them in there, kind of just channeled them in like you would uh, a beaver. And he went for it. Got him. Cool. That's good. Not big, but I'll take the numbers. So, anyway, this guy wants him out of there because I screw up his, his ditch banks and his culverts. So, I'm doing the best I can to help him out. Doing the best I ever did. Now, go away. Okay, anyway, there we go. More coming up, hopefully. Okay, so there we go. Um, got a reset, just barely submerged in the water. I have no idea what the water level is going to do tonight. Left the same bait I had there last night. And lowered my sticks to the water's edge. A little bit of guarding. Somebody's going to swim in there. Take a dirt nap in the water. 
if that makes sense. Okay, onward and upward. <laughs>